Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing? Um, I missed you guys so much. I've been so lazy. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a video forever. Um, I think that I, um, my YouTube's being really goofy, so, or not my YouTube, my iMovie, so if things get crazy, that's why. So I hope it kind of turns out all right. Um, but anyways, I've just been in sort of a funk, like laying low, um, taking my naps, working, just taking it easy, um, whatever. Sometimes that happens, you know, you just get like in a, a lazy groove, but that's what I've been doing and I miss you guys and I miss making videos, but I have been watching them as much as possible and yeah, that's it. Um, I just wanted to come on and show you guys a haul. Today's been a crazy day. How about crazy Target Missoni day? I can't believe it. I have to say thank you to one of my subscribers and Facebook friends, Kristen. She's actually from my area um, around Pittsburgh and she had let me know because we talk you know and she told me about it coming out today and I didn't even realize that tomorrow or today was the day she told me yesterday and I ended up going early and putting some stuff on hold I got there really early actually so I had a nice pick um, but it was before I had to go to work so I was rushing and I didn't even I didn't realize that I'd want to throw as bad as I want one now um, so I didn't even go to the home section because I was in a rush. I just knew I wanted to get the robe. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a throw and I'm sad, but um, the eBay prices are insane. But if any of you just thrown it out there, got a throw and don't want it, or were planning on selling it on eBay and want to not sell it on eBay and sell it to me, uh, let me know in the comments below or message me because I really do want one. I just can't afford $200. They're going for crazy amounts on eBay. So yeah, let me know if anyone has an extra one or has one at their Target. But I do want to show you guys some haul stuff. Um, I know that this is predictable, but the lighting sucks. Um, it's getting darker earlier. You know that routine and I just have been running around. So I, I really did want to do a video today though because I've wanted to do one. And my computer is freezing. This stinks. Um, I've wanted to do one, but I've been, um, I think I'm avoiding working out. I think that's what's happening right now. I'm avoiding it. So anyways, I'm going to get started on some of this haul stuff. This wasn't all really purchased at one time. This was kind of collective you know gradual and so now it's built up to about the size that I usually will do a haul and show you guys and so you'll know that it has been quite a while because I'm using or I'm showing you the Lorac powder which I talked about a while ago so um this is something I got a good while ago I told you guys I'd show it to you and I'm sorry it's taken so long but it's called the pore Fection, and I'm going to show you can you see I got the color um pore Fection 5 or tan and I think it's the darkest one and it's actually not that dark. So if you're real dark skin, I don't know if you're going to find a color to suit you. But this is it. Um, this is the powder, um, the setting powder that's infused with salicylic acid as part of the ingredient. So I'm really liking Lorac because they're fragrance free. Um, the salicylic acid's in here. It's for sensitive skin, breakout prone skin, etc. And you guys know how I'm very breakout prone. So I'm doing this to see if it works. I've still been having some breakouts, but I did go to the dermatologist yesterday and I'm probably going to start an oral medication um, to see how that works to sort of balance stuff out with me. So um, this, I'll just give you a little swatch of my hand. You can see it's pretty pigmented, which is nice and something that I like. You can't really see it on the back of my hand, but you can see it on here. Um, sorry, these are my band-aids from when I, um, and pen on my hand from when I cut myself and I have stitches there and there. So, yeah, I Facebooked about that. I think that like is what started the whole uh, being in kind of a, a bad groove where I didn't want to do anything with taking out um, <laughs> and watch YouTube videos. But this is the perfection and I love it. So I highly recommend this. If you're breakout prone, if you have sensitive skin, um, or if you're just looking for a new um, setting powder. I think Lorac gets overlooked a lot and yeah, Lighting's totally getting bad right now. Um, next, I have two things by The Balm. And I happened to see these actually a while after a subscriber and follower on Twitter told me that these, these were at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And she told me and I went and I couldn't find them. 
um, and she couldn't find them at hers. And then one day they were there and I was like, oh my gosh. So I grabbed them. Um, yeah, I snatched up these two. I don't know if there were more things, but I was really excited to find just these two. So the one was a Bahama Mama. This was by The Balm. It's a bronzer. And I like it. It's dark, though. So you have to be fairly dark to wear this, or you have to want a pretty strong contour. But that's it. And then the next one is called Hot Mama. And I think this is just sort of a blush. Uh, it's called like a sexy shadow and blush all-in-one. So it's an all-in-one um, blush highlighter. I think it's more a highlighter for me and less a blush. But this is it. It has sort of the tone and the iridescence of Orgasm, so by NARS. So that's it, the Hot Mama. I love these two things. Um, I do like this. It is, I think it would look really wonderful on pale skin tones. It does look nice as a highlighter on me, but I'm trying to see. Yeah, I like it. It's not my favorite on my skin, but um, I probably wouldn't have paid complete full price for this, so if that gives you sort of a gauge. But um, the reviews of that Hot Mama on Sephora are through the roof. Like, people love that. Love it, love it. Um, this is an interesting thing that I've got, and it is called Designer Pink, number 955. It's by Maybelline. And it is just, like, my ideal perfect color lipstick. Um, it's a little more sheer. It's not the texture of lipstick that I love. Um, but the color is just spot on something that is so me. Can you believe this? It's like a whitish, fr white frosty baby pink. I didn't think it would show up that well, but it actually, it actually does. So, um, we know the lighting is no, no good right now, but I want you guys to get sort of a depiction. It's just a really white baby pink. And if you if they still have this at your um at your what did I where did I get it CVS Rite Aid CVS or Walgreens um, I would pick that up for seven dollars because I think it's a cool color to have in your collection um, like I said it's a little bit sheer but it's not it has a lot more bam than I thought it was gonna have um, you know you can't try stuff on obviously in Rite Aid uh, you're not supposed to swatch it or anything so I wasn't sure what I was gonna get and I really love it so. You can't see right now, but it does give a really white pink color, which I like and which I bet a lot of you are going to yell at me for liking. Um, next, I have a single NARS shadow, which I'm really loving NARS duos right now, but I rediscovered one that was in my collection, which I'll show in a favorites video soon, but... Um, I'm wanting to expand my collection of the NARS Duo eyeshadows, and I actually got this single one when I was looking for a duo, so I just happened to really like this color, and it's called Lola Lola, and one of my good friends just had a baby recently and named her Lola, so I thought that was cute, but this is it. It's looking a little bit lighter right now with the lighting than it is, but it's a reddish brown. Um, a it's a reddish goldeny brown. Let me try to swatch it for you. That's it right there. It's going to pull like a lot of copper, um, coppery brownie ready tones. So really, really pretty. I actually have it on right now in faded form because I've had it on all day, but it does wonders for blue eyes. So I do recommend this color. And you get... I think with these NARS shadows, I think you do get a pretty nice size. I'm trying to see how big they are. 2.2 grams. Um, I don't know. I think it's a great size, and I love NARS eyeshadows. Not all of them are great, but I really, I do like them. The duos, the texture is phenomenal, though. So speaking of the duos, I got this one. It's called Browse or Bruce. Um... I don't know if you can read it, probably not, my camera's not the best, but it's B-R-O-U-S-S-E, so Browse, that's how I'd say it. Uh, let me see, it's of course, taupey, browny, plummy, you know, the usual that I like, but it is beautiful. Now in this lighting, I think that uh, this color is pulling more purple, and it's a more... 
Um, it's more grayish blue, and this one's more taupey than it actually is showing. I don't know how to get a good depiction. I think you guys will actually have to just go see it, but this is the darker color you can see there. It's not real purple. It's more like a bluish grayish taupe. And then there's the lighter color next to it. Gorgeous, they're gorgeous, gorgeous colors and I am obsessed with this duo, so I love it. I could not wait to wear it as soon as I got it. I actually tried it on. So I do suggest sometimes trying on eyeshadows. I always ask the girls at my Sephora, I'm like, can you just give me a brush so I can try these on? Because um, eyeshadows pull different colors on skin tone than they do really on your fingers as swatches or, you know, looking at them under the lights. So, you know, sometimes when you put a color um, on your finger, it looks like one thing, but when you actually blend and start working it on your eye, because of your skin tone and um, undertones, it really might pull a color that isn't what you want it to be. So I really suggest trying on eyeshadows. And I do, I take advantage of that. I don't know, that's just me. Um, let me swatch that little one real fast for you since I have the other swatches on my hand. It's right here, and you can see it's like a, a coppery brown. But these these colors are gorgeous. So I'm really pleased with those shadows. I love them. I want more, of course. Um, next, I grabbed this, and this was more of a recent purchase. Those were, you know, over a few weeks. But this was recent, and it was sort of, I knew it was coming eventually, but it finally, you know, happened. I got the Chanel um, taupe grease and I don't know I guess it's just one of those things that eventually I just was gonna have to get it because you look at something so much that you just end up having to get it but I got it because I was at Ulta and I was looking at a palette that had a bunch of shadows I think it was a Smashbox and I was you know I swatched them and I was trying not to buy the whole palette because it was expensive and I had dupes for some of them and I just didn't know if it was worth the price. So I had them on my hands. I hopped on over to Macy's, because Ulta's by Macy's. And I thought, you know what? The one color that I really want in this Smashbox palette, palette might be taupe grease. I thought it was. It really wasn't. So when I sw swatched taupe grease next to it, they weren't the same color. Taupe grease was definitely darker, pulled a little more um, purpley color. But... I don't know. I ended up just grabbing it. I didn't get the Smashbox palette because it was a little bit too much money um, for what, you know, for what it was. I didn't need all those colors and I didn't need to spend $50. But this is taupe grease and you guys kind of know what it is. Um, it's not the same as the Gemma Kid shadow. That one time that I thought like the Gemma Kid could be a substitute. It's not the same obviously as Bobbi Brown taupe. Um, it's a more of a purpley taupe. So um, I think the Bobbi Brown taupe is more brown taupe. I think that that Gemma Kid taupe I got is more of a, um, I'd say like a grayish taupe. And then I think this is more of a purpley taupe. So I'll swatch this for you. And this definitely isn't as, it's a different kind of color. I find that the NARS shadows are just my favorite pigmentation. The Chanel isn't as pigmented. It's definitely buildable but it doesn't have that velvety, um, and I just love the package, you know, they package it so nicely. Um, the NARS just have that like smooth, buttery, velvety texture. Um, Chanel, I don't think it has it as much, but this is the color right here. So that's taupe grease. Um, like I said, this these right here with the NARS, they're one kind of dip with my finger and rub against my the back of my hand, and that's, you just get that, pow that like buttery velvety pigmented pow and um the chanel it's not as obviously it just doesn't have that texture but regardless i love the taupe grease i wore it all weekend um i'm happy to have it i don't regret buying it and that's that it's neutral you can do it sheer you can build it up um i suggest doing a base under it i think it would look great with a paint pot um i use using painterly or soft ochre i think um, I think it would look good with a darker paint pot and layered. 
whatever even under even over top of black round paint blood i think it would look really pretty but that is that that's so that's taupe grease you guys know about that many people have talked about it um next i this is a repurchase so this is just the aqua lip by makeup forever i fly through lip liners and i especially fly through these aqua lips i think it's sort of their formula it's softer it um I need a little more, I don't know. It, it's just like kind of, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit not as long lasting as MAC, but this is 2C anyways. This is 2C, here it is right here. It's one of my absolute favorite lip liners. Um, breeze through the first one that I got and I'm on the second one, so this was a repurchase. Next, I went to Sephora in my JCPenney's with intentions of getting Centerfold. Lisa Lisa D talked about it. Um, my friend Julie um, on Twitter and Facebook, uh, she mentions it to me and yeah, she doesn't mention it to me. Why did I say that? She mentioned, she might've mentioned it to Lisa. I just have seen her mention it. I don't know, I don't know if she mentioned it to me. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I just know that she loves it. So. Um, I went to buy it. It pulled really purpley purple on me. I don't know why. So I don't know. I had used it with this lip liner. I don't know if I try it with another lip liner if it would work. But when Lisa said it, when she, I knew it was called Centerfold, I had to have it. And then when I thought it would be like porn star lips, I had to have it. And then it just didn't work on me. So it was kind of sad. Um, so maybe I need to try it with a different lip liner because I feel like I still want it. I don't know why. Because I'm crazy like that. Um, but in the meantime of getting those like plumpy stripper porn star lips, which of course I love and always try to attain or aspire for. What's the word? What am I trying to say? I don't know. Forget it. Anyways, the one makeup artist there was like, oh, well, if you want those kind of lips, you need these two products. So I'm thinking, Ugh, I hate when that happens when like something doesn't work out and you're just like, yay, it didn't work out. I don't have to spend my money. And then you want to leave. And then they show you something else. Well, that's what happened. Ended up being a lipstick, uh, Makeup Forever, that I've wanted for quite a while, even though it probably is a dupe to something I already have. Um, I've had this in my hand and put it back at least three different times before. So I'm like, when she suggested it, I we tried it on and my lips looked awesome. I'm not like trying to toot my own horn, but the lips looked good with this on and this lip liner and then this sec third thing. <laughs> they looked like big, like sexy, plump lips. So... It is Rouge, what are they called? Rouge Artist Intense, and it is number 22. So it's this like super nude one, of course. And here it is under the lip liner. I filled, you know, I did my lips and then I filled them a bit in with the lip liner and then I put this on. So that's it. Gorgeous. Um, there were like three of the girls that work there all watching me do it. And then after I put the gloss on, they were like, oh my God, you have to get this. So I ended up getting it. But that was number 22 by Makeup Forever. And then the gloss is a Lorac Couture Shine. I'm not a big gloss person, you guys know I'm not, but with the gloss, it just made it. So um, I ended up getting it. This Couture Shine is sort of, it's a liquid lipstick, I guess it's marketed as. It's really bad lighting right now. Anyways, liquid lipstick, this is it. It's like perfectly beigey, nude, have to have it, amazing. So this over top of that Rouge 22, the Rouge Artist, is unbelievable. Do we see this? So that's over top of it, and I'll just show you kind of by itself. Why can't I do this? I kind of suck at this. So that's it. It's like flesh colored liquid amazingness lipstick. Um, and it smells amazing. And my lips look so good. They were like, poof. they look so big and so sexy and so porn starish. And you guys know I like that. Whether you like it or not, you know that I like that. And um, yeah, my phone is vibrating. So I'm gonna go, um, the lighting's getting really bad. And you knew that was coming. My hair needs washed really badly, really badly, and I'm sort of a mess today. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys like my haul. I recommend everything. This is all, all this stuff is really good. I mean, I hate to say it, but 
I pretty much have good taste. So that's my haul. Uh, let me know if you guys grab any of this stuff or have any of it or like it or know um, any NARS duos that I might like. Let me know that. And if you have any Missoni throws that you want to sell me, let me know and I'll PayPal you. Missed you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.